Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. It means a lot to me. So first of all, I just want to tell you guys a happy new year to all of you guys out there. I wish you all the best in this new year. So second of all, on this video, uh, I want to do a giveaway and a shout out because you guys just helped me achieve 11,000 subscribers. So that's huge to me. We just started the year. Uh, we started with 11,000 subscribers. That's strong. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to go forward with more and be stronger on this new year so with that said though by achieving these 11,000 subscribers and starting the year strong i want to do a giveaway on the channel the giveaway is going to be a 60 dollars gift card for xbox playstation or steam whatever platform you play on uh to enter this giveaway is pretty simple you have to be subscribed to the channel like the video and then comment down below uh when did you found my channel or how did you find my channel because i'm always curious to know how people found my channel i do appreciate when you guys tell me that because it's just something i like to know right so yeah comment down below how or when did you find my channel and then on the end of that comment put hashtag 11k giveaway that i know that you guys are entering for the giveaway so with that said though thank you guys so much for the support i appreciate all of the support you guys gave me help me get to these 11,000 subscribers without further ado let's get into the video in today's video i got for you guys a build that i've been trying to put together for a while now um, i've been trying to put this build together since when i got the new exotic that came on the new tile update which is the capacitor the capacitor is an assault rifle that it takes advantage of you having a skill build right i think at this point we can say that this is the best ar that you can have when you are running a skill build because you will achieve damage to your gun the capacity itself and it will achieve damage to your skills by using the gun itself so it's a pretty interesting uh, exotic weapon that was added to the game it's pretty nice so i wanted to make a build around it and this is the build that i finally got also on this build there is something that i i wanted to use that gives me the nostalgia of division one right the pulse now the pulse was something that we used a lot in division one if you play division one you remember that time when we are always like pulsing and knowing where the enemies are and we get the damage by activating the pulse so this build is gonna be no different we're gonna have the pulse and we're gonna have a low cooldown on the pulse and we're gonna be able to activate at all time to give us damage by using the pulse so honestly like it's a pretty interesting build like i do like how this build came out because i've been trying to achieve this build right so i finally got to the point where i feel like this is it this is the build that i wanted when it comes to the hybrid build with the capacitor i just wanted to use this gun and this is the build that i'm gonna use for this gun okay guys so let's check this out we have the start of the show the new exotic assault rifle that was added in this new update the capacitor the capacitor is a weapon that has the base damage of 51.7k rpm is 700 and has 41 on the mag the core attribute is assault rifle damage damage to armor and then attribute health damage now what makes this gun so interesting is the talent the capacitance so this talent basically what it does on the first part is for every bullet that you land on your enemy you gain a 1.5 percent skill damage and you have a maximum stack of 40 so that means you can get up to 60 percent skill damage with this gun and then after five seconds of not using the gun right the stacks will decay one per second right so with that said that's kind of like a striker if you know how striker works that's a striker version of a talent for skill damage right now it doesn't end in there though so the second part of this talent right we have for each skill tier gain 7.5 percent weapon damage to your builds so this gun will get weapon damage by having more skill tier on your builds there is no other weapon that can achieve that on the game right so every time you have like let's say a skill build that has six or five skill tier usually those weapons that you're using on the build will have a lot lower damage compared to what they had in a dps build right so the capacitor on a six skill tier it will only lose about half of the damage compared to a full dps build that has all reds right so that's the beauty of the capacitor compared to other weapons in the game on a skill build 
So with that said though, that's how I achieve this build, right? I was trying to have a build that can make the capacitor hit hard, but still have a lot of damage to your skill, right? So the way I'm achieving all of those five skill tiers is gonna come first from the specialization, the technician, it's gonna be from the backpack memento, two from the Henny U brand set, and also one from the Wive and Wear brand set. So with that said though, it's needless to say that the technician is very important on this build, right? Because we get this perk right here that gives you a plus one skill tier to your build. Now, the technician itself is very good specialization because on skill builds, you can choose between these two right here. We have the overclock CPU that gives us a 10% skill damage. That's what I'm using on this build. Or if you want to go for healing, you can use this one right here, which gives you a 10% skill healing. But I do recommend this one right here the overclock CPU. So taking a look at the build for damage, we have on the mask the Ferris Group AB that gives a 10% assault rifle damage by equipping one. The core attribute is going to be weapon damage, attribute is going to be all critical hit damage and critical hit chance. The second damage item we have on the build is going to be this group of Sombra because it gives a 15% critical hit damage to the build by equipping one of these brand set. The core attribute is weapon damage, attribute critical chance and critical hit damage. Now in here, this is where if you are lucky enough, you could change that core attribute for skill tier instead of weapon damage. Now, just to give you guys an example, let's say if I put this handy you right here just to get that plus one skill tier and put us at six skill tier, my striker drone will be hitting for 59k damage and then my scanner pulse will be duration of 19.2 seconds. Now, the cooldown will be the same if I had one less skill tier. So, going back to my group of summer, right, I get more damage. My strike joint will be hitting for only 54,000 damage and then my scanner pulse will stay the same cooldown but the duration will be 17.7 seconds which is fine because the duration is still over the cooldown. That's what you want, right? As long as we can have the duration over the cooldown we are fine plus let's not forget we have the memento that will gives us a 30 percent skill efficiency that's going to be more cooldown more duration and more damage to our build overall once we have 30 stacks from the backpack talent and speaking of that so the memento we get that weapon damage the armor and the skill tier from the backpack the exotic backpack we have the talent kill confirmed that gives us a five percent weapon damage ten percent bonus armor and five percent skill efficiency depending on how much we have throughout the build and we have mostly yellows so we're gonna get mostly skill efficiency and then we have the last part of the talent that is gonna give us a 30% weapon damage a 30% skill efficiency as I mentioned and also a 3% armor generation for five minutes because those stacks have a maximum of 30 right so we have all of that that is gonna add to the build so from that the second talent on this build is gonna be on the chest piece we have the wife and wear chest piece in here so the wife and wear by equipping one we get 10% skill damage for the build right and then quarter attribute is skill tier attribute i chose skill damage and critical hit chance and also the mod will be critical hit damage because i don't need more critical hit chance so the the talent in here is gonna be Spother, amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% to pulsed enemies. And we have a pulse that we can pulse at all time basically because once we pulse it, it will have a duration longer than the cooldown. So with that said, we're gonna be pulsing at all time, we're gonna have our damage to our skills and also to our weapon at all time if we really play the right way, right? Because we're gonna have to get used to to pulse remember this was something from division one we don't use pulse much but this was something that we did a lot in the division one so it's nice to see uh going back to what we used to do so i do enjoy using this build it gives me that nostalgia Last but not least, the last part of this build is going to be two handy use that we have on the build, the gloves and the knee pads. And by adding a two handy U on your build, you get a 10% skill haste and 10% skill damage, both what we need for the build. So the core attribute on both of them is going to be a skill tier. And then the attribute on the knee pads is going to be critical damage, critical chance. And then on the gloves, we have critical damage and 10% skill damage because we don't need any more critical hit chance and speaking of that taking a look at the stats so on the capacitor we have 56 percent critical hit chance on the build right and then critical damage that's basically 150 percent critical hit 
damage. So really, this is a, a, a build that even for the skill build, it will hit hard with your gun because the weapon damage actually we have 119,000 weapon damage on this capacitor. Compare it to the test subject is only 99,000 weapon damage because we're getting more weapon damage from the skill tiers itself because of the talent of the gun right so that's how you can achieve more damage to your weapon or ar with this build by equipping the capacitor right and that's it guys that's the build for you guys that's how i use my capacitor that's the build i've been trying to achieve and honestly i am satisfied the way the build came up because i love it honestly the capacitor is really good if you use a build that has a lot of skill tier right because you take advantage of both worlds dps and also skill damage so that's how I use my capacitor. Let me know how you use your capacitor in the comment section below. Let me know this nostalgia of using the scanner pulse like that, like almost at all time. It reminds me of the Division 1 days and we can see the enemies through walls. So let me know all of that in the comment section below. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you so much for helping me get that 11,000 subscribers. That means a lot to me. Don't forget to participate on the giveaway down below on the comments. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the like on the video if you're new, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.